down in here. This is the final lava. Once we have cleared out these uh, last two Omega Metroids, that lava will clear and we'll have access to the final area of the game. Let's see, up or down. No, oh, doesn't much matter. <laughs> go in both directions eventually. <laughs> no we don't. That's just a save point. Okay, here we go. To the left is one, to the right is the other. Once again, this is only just barely qualifying as music. They did try to make it dire, but it's just not really music. It's there's barely anything to it, so I, I would have to say attempt failed on that. Um, <laughs> there we go. Thanks to that little glitch there of it not turning around to face us. That worked amazingly well. why the room is half filled with water. It has no effect on our speed or our jumping ability, so it may as well not even be there. Awesome! Now we can go to the final area. Here comes the last earthquake. Actually, check that, there might be one more earthquake in the final area. Don't remember at the moment. all worried about health at the moment since there is definitely another energy refill inside that uh, final area.
All right, here we are. I think anyway. Maybe. <laughs> we're definitely... Okay, yes, we are definitely in the final area now. So yeah, the uh, actual final area is... largely empty. It's just a big old lead-up to... Well, the last couple rooms, really. Ah, oh, yeah, and then there's stuff like that. Totally forgot! Oh, yeah, empty and also... Is that actually marked? Wow, that, that is actually marked. Cool. So you can actually see where the pitfalls are. Very nice! You have to be paying attention to notice it, but, uh, yeah, I like that. Derp. have to be paying attention to notice it, and I was not paying attention. Also, I think this is also, yep, all the way down through. Okay. Directly into it. So this is basically just the space jump test. How well can you space jump? Save room, I think. Possibly even last. I'm not even. Okay, no, yeah, that is the last save room. There we go. See, now that water would have made sense to include in that uh, <laughs> last Omega Metroid fight because it's a hindrance. Once again, basically testing your space jump abilities. There we go. Okay, yes, yes, that is where we want to go. <laughs> and then we're gonna have to land on that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And be super careful with your space jumps in this area. It is a long way down, and that's just additional time added onto things. right in here, and we get a weapon downgrade, but it's one that is completely necessary. Hmm. Weird, the map shows that top spot there as being an access point to another spot on the map, but, um, I don't know if that's the map getting something wrong, or if it's a thing I can get back to later, or what. But either way, doesn't make much difference. Because we need to go through this way anyway. J jump! All the time! Just keep jumping! Yay! Final, final area music! Let's zoom this out a 
bit so I can see where I'm going. Ah, yeah. Who is a... Seriously. <laughs> you special egg there. And now there are nine Metroids. And that is why we need Ice Beam. Take them out. Old fashioned style. Ice Beam and then Missiles. pixel range of where the missile could have gotten through. No, maybe it's like a five pixel range, but yeah. So yeah, very um, reminiscent of Toriad. spot. There we go. Of course, that'll work too. There we go, final earthquake. And I totally have enough missiles. Around 200 is what you should be aiming for. I mean, more than 200, preferably. But, you know, since I'll be safe stating my ass off, we should I'm making a backup. <laughs> yeah, we should be fine. So the queen also I think this yep. This is what I was thinking of. This yeah it jumps us back to the um Ice Beam Room, if you want to use that as a bit of a, you know, shortcut to head back there. Also interesting. Hmm. Yeah, basically what you want to do is land a missile in her open mouth and then, uh, tear into her. Just like that. That is exactly how you want it to go. And when you do that, honestly not that hard. that and a bit less of taking all the damage. Hey, hey, hey! And I don't know why our health 
refills after we win the fight. Eh, fight. But, that's exactly what it does. And now there are zero Metroids left. Hooray! We've exterminated a species. Oh, but then there's one. Little baby. Little baby Metroid, which eats things our blaster cannot take care of. So our missiles and our bombs and... Well, yeah. Baby Metroid is the only way to get out. Yeah, I've never actually gotten the other kill to uh, work myself. I think it involves um, going down into a uh, morph ball form. And dropping bombs in her mouth, I think. Could be misremembering that, but, um... I always just stuck with the stun her and then missile spam method. Very, very effective, I think. Also, the planet is not exploding. There is no time limit. It does kind of throw you for a loop insofar as... You do have to, uh, figure out that once you get out to the surface here... You do have to, uh, go up and over this, uh... Well, bit of terrain here. Also, again, with the music, which is really terrible. There we go. Back to the ship. this game needed. <laughs> yeah. All the things the fan remake added, that's everything this game needed. <laughs> so, you know, the save points that heal and restore things, the, um, addition of the suits, and major upgrades to the areas, and... <laughs> Yeah, it would honestly be amazing, like, they, they did Metroid Zero Mission to remake the first game and make it more awesome and, you know, sort of make it more like Super Metroid, and that was a really, really good thing, so... You know, how about Metroid... Second Mission? Or... Me Me Metroid Zero... Not Non-Zero Mission? But there we go! Time, two hours, 17 minutes. Totally had time to go back and get those last two uh, missile packs we were missing, but that is okay. <laughs> so, that is the end of Metroid 2, The Return of Samus. Um, obviously, I would recommend this to everybody, although at this point I would say it is... Play it if you are a huge Metroid or Metroidvania fan. Otherwise, for the more casual Metroidvania fan or people who just want a better game, go get another Metroid 2 remake. Because it's just... 
everything's improved and better graphics, better music, better <laughs> power-ups, better map system, well, existence of a map system. Just all the things you want in a Metroid game added in. So yeah, um, I think that is, well, I, I know that is, there is literally nothing else to do. That is all. I hope, um, I hope everybody enjoyed it. I really enjoyed myself playing through it because it has been over a decade since I had last played through it. And yeah, um, I will see all you folks in the next game. <laughs>